let me start by saying that this watch is ridiculous. Not ridiculous in the negative way, but ridiculous in actually a positive way. And it is because of the value contained in this watch. Today, this watch costs $47 on AliExpress. And for that, you get a very, very, very nice construction. You get a Seiko Mega Quartz movement in here. Uh, you get so, so, so much on this little watch. Of course, those of you who are uh, keen have noticed that this watch is a pure homage of the uh, famous, yeah, pretty famous now, AP 11.59. This is the chronograph version. The original version cost around $40,000, dollars $40, Thanks to Pagani Design, you can get the watch way, 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 way cheaper than that. Uh, of course, it is not an AP. Of course, you do not have precious metal here, like on the uh, AP version. But if you want the feeling, and if you're not, if you have nothing against homages, come on, this is actually impressive. And I'm gonna explain. And I'm gonna explain why. First of all. Well, let's take a look at the dimensions first, okay, so we can get that out of the way. Like the original, you've got a dimension of 41 millimeters in diameter. You've got a height of 13.2, uh, and that is because of the domed sapphire crystal in there. And you've got a pretty large log-to-log -log of 50.8 millimeters, which is noticeable. However, because of these hollow logs, it wears much, much shorter than that, not when you look at it from the front, but when you look at it diagonally or um, from the side. Yeah, it does not actually look like a 51 log to log. You've got a 20 millimeters in log width and uh, yeah, there's a, a strap. We'll talk about the strap as well. But let's now focus on the dial. You've got about the same layout than on the original. So you've got uh, three sub-dials. They're not the same than the original, of course, uh, because it's the layout of the Seiko VK63. You've got the chronograph sub-dial at 9. You've got the second sub-dial at uh, 6. And you've got the uh, 24 hour, which is actually an AM PM subdial at three. And of course, you've got the date window, which is not color matched at uh, 4.30. On the top part of the dial, you've got the uh, 12 at 12, like the original. Then you've got the Pagani Design logo, and you've got the Pagani Design text chronograph. And yeah, the rather um, not good sport in there. I really hope that Pagani Design will uh, drop this sport thing in there. It, it actually it makes no sense, but yeah, they still put it uh, in spite of pretty much everybody hating that. But all right, they keep it there. Why not? Here you've got a tapestry dial, but it is not that visible, only under the sun. I believe that the originals from this era, from uh, the code 11.59, had some glossy dial, if I'm not incorrect. The hands are just plain buttons. They have some loom on them, as do the button indices. Well, I will give you a loom shot, but yeah, it's actually nothing to write home about. And I am pretty certain that the original does not give you great loom as well. So on the peripheries of the dial, you've got the tachymetric scale which is pretty nicely made. Let's talk about what I believe is the highlight of this watch, and that is the case. The case is so well made for a watch at this price point. You could tell me that this watch was worth 10 times more uh, with this case, I wouldn't even flinch. Doing the hollow logs is not easy, even if you're just copying them like Pagani Design do. Um, and then take a look at all the contrast between the brushings and the polishings of the case. Uh, it, it is a very, very, very complex case. 
extremely complex. Take a look at all that. The brushing is actually pretty good quality. I was very much impressed. I, I am impressed by this watch. For all of you who might think that I'm getting paid to say this, not at all. I never get paid, first of all. And, and second of all, I bought this watch with my own money. Sometimes Pagani sends me uh, uh, watches. I haven't done a Pagani review in a long time, but this one I just had to do. I had to check this watch for myself. Well, I, I, am, I am speechless, having a hard time finding my words describing this case. Uh, it is very, very, very good for a watch that is not a luxury watch, and even for log, I have seen luxury watches with with cases that are way, 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 way less uh, well made than this one. Well, I do believe that. I, I hope that uh, in in one uh, in one or two years the case doesn't come apart. I don't. I don't believe so. It does look very solid and well made. If we flip the case, you see kind of a very nice Pagani design medallion. Uh, on the back, they could have just given you uh, something plain, nothing, um, but here you've got a very nice medallion that has some kind of depth to it. It looks very high quality, it is like a glass medallion, and inside of that you've got the Pagani Design uh, logo. Uh, you've got a, lot of, a, little, a little bit of specs in there. It does say that you've got a hundred meters of water resistance. Uh, I doubt that, really, because you've got no screw down crown. So I really would not take this one swimming, which 100 meters could actually give you. Yeah, uh, be careful with those kind of claims that some companies made. The crown is not screw down, it's just pull push. And uh, let, let's check actually how the VK63 works. As I said, it's a mecha quartz, meaning that the main hour is kept by a quartz module. On top, you've got a mechanical movement taking care of the chronograph. And yeah, when you push the button, uh, you have a distinctly mechanical feel to it. It is a flyback as well. If you push, yeah, if you push this button, it just goes back all the way to 12. And yeah, let's do a classic one. You continue, you go ahead, and yeah, just stop it and go back to zero. It's not a screw down back, it is a screw down back with uh, one, two, three, four, five, with five screws. That doesn't give me more confidence about the 100 meters. Let's talk about the um, strap. The strap, uh, I saw a listing that said carbon fiber. Yeah, forget about it. It's not true. In here, <clears throat> they do say that it's leather. It does seem like leather. Here we've got the classic leather, and here we've got kind of a grainy uh, leather pattern that you can actually really feel. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it is genuine leather, so the basic, the most basic kind of leather. Uh, the buckle is pretty nice. Yeah, you also have that contrasted, polished and brushed finish to it. It is signed. It is signed Pagani Design. Yeah, again, something that looks much, much better than the price would suggest. Let's go to the positives and negatives. Positives about this watch. I have talked a lot about the positives. It is extremely well made. It is an extremely high value. Okay, um, you've got a VK63 in here, so a very nice mecha quartz movement. You've got a sapphire crystal, a dome sapphire crystal that is not cheap to make. Um, on the negatives, of course, you've got a homage, so if you're allergic to homages, forget about it. This is not the watch for you, but if you've watched this far, I do believe that some, this is something that uh, you might want to try. The dial is not... It's nothing to write home about. I'm not sure that I like that tapestry finish to the dial. I would have preferred a, a glossy like the original or something else. Tapestry is, yeah, just okay, I believe. Nothing bad, but just okay. I wish the date wheel was color matched. It is not. And I wish they would do away with that dumb sport thing in there. And uh, yeah, I think that the top part of the dial is a little bit cluttered, you know, you've got that 
Pagani design, that big 12 with Pagani design logo in there, Pagani design chronograph sports. We do know it's a chronograph, guys. Just drop the drop the, 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 the logo and drop the sports. I believe that it, you would have a much, much cleaner design. Yeah, and the kind of claims that they make, like 100 meters, I really doubt this is 100 meters. So yeah, that is that would be a negative. Some might see the also the dimension, the, especially the log to log of almost 51. But as you saw on my wrist, yeah, that does appear a bit large, but that is not a deterrent for this watch, unless you've got like six and a half inch and less uh, wrist. But besides from that, um, I do believe that we've got a new king of value in here. It is actually impressively, impressively well made for a watch below $50. Come on, below $50, you get, you usually get something like uh, uh, a Casio Juro, which is a very nice watch, a very, very nice watch. I love my Casio Juro, but yeah, you do not have at all the same level of finishing, the same level of quality that you get with this one. Um, another thing, yeah, I would have like, I know it's impossible, but I would have loved for them to try and make that little warped uh, sapphire crystal that you get on the original, uh, which made it so uh, kind of endearing. I would have loved that, but you do not have that. You just, you just have um, a domed sapphire, which is, you know, for this price point, it is much more than you can ask for. But yeah, there you go. Thank you guys so much. If you like this review and if you like the reviews of watches like these, though very high quality and uh, very nice watches, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll leave you here with other very high quality watches that you can see um, and I'll be seeing you very soon, hopefully. Goodbye.